So you want to learn CAD. Let me ruin it for you in the best possible way. Everyone thinks CAD is quick, easy, and creative until the fillets fail, the sketches explode, and Fusion 360 decides to delete your sanity. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about something every designer, maker, and RC airplane builder eventually discovers. CAD is not what most people think it is. There's a huge difference between what people expect CAD to be like and what it's actually like when you're deep in the timeline, sketch constraints everywhere, and Fusion 360 decides it's time to ruin your day. So today I'm breaking down the 10 biggest CAD expectations versus realities, especially for those of us designing RC jets, printing molds, or surface modeling wings, etc. So let's go ahead and get started here now. As you can see, I have a plane up here already. This is X29 um, that I've been showing you guys how to model. And you know what I've been going through with this so far. The number one expectation that people think that CAD is fast. In reality, CAD is slow and iterative. Um, a lot of people think it's like drawing, you sketch a line, extrude it, extrude it, excuse me, and boom, you got your model. In uh, reality, it's basically just a loop of sketch, extrude, undo, constrain, break, rebuild, fill it, fill, and cry internally. Yep, cry internally, not externally. Half your cat time is spent fixing something you broke 20 steps ago. One constraint off and the whole piece slots decides to twist itself like a pretzel. Cat is powerful, but it's not fast. It rewards patience, not speed. Now, as we know, I haven't had a lot of trouble modeling this jet so far, but time and using my brain thinking about what I'm going, what am I doing and how I'm going to go about doing it. Okay, now the second expectation that uh, people have is that CAD is crea uh, creative. In reality, it's mostly logic. When you're designing uh, you know, anything like an airliner or a wing or a fuselage, you think it's going to feel like art. Yeah, yeah, we do feel like it's going to be like art. But once you get into it, you realize CAD is basically 80% problem solving, 20% creativity. Yes, bunch of problem solving. As you see, a lot of times I do a lot of my modeling. I'm trying to solve the problem, um, you know, right away as I'm going along with it. And um, if you follow my um, tutorials, you actually see that. And um, I'm constantly thinking, okay, now if I'm not using constraints, but if I am, I'm thinking, is the sketch fully constrained? Will this law fail when I mirror it? Did I um, reference the right plane, etc. Again, CAD is creativity wrapped in logic. Beautiful, yes. Artistic, sometimes. But mostly, it's a puzzle. <laughs> it's a puzzle. Now, the expectation number three that uh, people um, think about. CAD works the way you think. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> CAD works the way engineers think. So, and um, Cat doesn't care what you meant. So if you meant to do this, it's not gonna work. You have to be specific. You could be modeling a simple EDF intake in Ephesian 360, and Ephesian 360 is like, oh, you want to fill at that edge? Well, guess what? You can't. <laughs> and yes, that happens quite often. And um, Cat wants constraints, fully defined sketches, stable references, predictable geometry, if anything is ambiguous, a cat punish you immediately. It says you're wrong. And I'd probably say nine out of 10 times you are wrong. Cat uh, won't let you do what you want to do because of the uh, it's, uh, constraints it has. Now, expectation number four, you get good fast. In reality, skill comes from hours, and I've spent a lot of hours into this. You know, uh, people think a few, tor uh, excuse me, a few tutorials will make them fluent, but CAD is a long-term skill. 20 hours into it, 
you can make basic parts. 200 hours, you can design full RC aircraft. 2,000 hours, you can surface model complex jets. You learn CAD by doing, not by watching. Every broken timeline teaches you something. So, a lot of hours into uh, modeling this stuff. Now, again, if you watch me model things and stuff like that, it doesn't seem like uh, we're, you know, have a whole lot of time into it. That's because I've spent, you know, several hundred hours. I don't know, maybe even uh, thousands. I don't know about thousands, but maybe a thousand hours of uh, practicing with CAD over the years. So yeah, um, it may look easy when I do it, but trust me, I've got the time into it. And um, for you to get that same type of speed, put the time in into it. And um, again, you learn CAD by doing, not by watching. All right, let's go to expectation number five. CAD is about making shapes. In reality, CAD is about controlling shapes. Very true. As you see me use these forms, I'm controlling that shape um, with these airplanes and things. And anyone can draw a curve, but CAD users must make that curve behave. Um, you have main references planes, sketches that don't over constraint. That's one thing that is important too not to over constrain something. You have um, parametric relationships, construction geometry everywhere. And good CAD, CAD isn't the model itself, it's the rules behind the model. That's the difference between a pretty fuselage and a fuselage you can actually 3D print, modify, or split for molds. So yeah, so remember that. There's a difference between pretty fuselage and fuselage you can actually 3D print or split for molds. Expectation number six, surface modeling is just advanced extrudes. In reality, surface modeling is a religion. Surface modeling is beautiful and brutal. When, you know, you're designing wing roots, blending intakes, nose cones, smoothing airline fuselages, etc. Makes you feel like a sculptor until one tiny edge refuses to stitch. And yes, we've had that happen many, many times time and time again. Or your form uh, body collapses into a disaster. Yes, this happened too. Surface, surface modeling makes you plan everything before you click. And like I said in my videos, you have to think about, um, when you look at those um, drawings and things, you have to think about how you're going to do this um, with the surface. How are we going to break this up and etc. And when it works, it feels like magic. Expectation number seven. CAD is stable. Uh, reality, CAD will crash. As you see on my channel many a times, it has crashed on me. Fusion 360, SolidWorks, on shape, doesn't matter. Um, it's going to crash on you at a time. And um, you're going to experience laggy assemblies, failed fillets, timeline nightmares, etc. And every CAD user has a story. I lost three hours of work because auto save fell, etc. So again, um, it's just a rite of passage when you, um, when Fusion or any of the CAD software that you're using decides to go out on you. All right, expectation number eight: CAD is technical. Reality: CAD is communication, and. If you understand communication, you know, um, your model has to communicate what it is, how it prints, how parts assemble, how wings align, where the EDF mounts, what tolerances matter. Good cat is readable by your future self. Bad cat is a mystery thriller with no ending. And yes, that is. So it's best, again, um, to, I've told you guys a lot of times when you change the names of them, you want to change the names of things so you can always go back and find it quick and you know where it is. Always keep good records of stuff. And um, so, yeah. Expectation number nine. Cat can be, excuse me, sorry about that. Cat can model anything. Rarely, only if you think in steps. Again, think in steps. 
And um, CAT isn't about knowing tools, it's about knowing the process. And I show you guys many times the process I go through to modeling an airplane. And a lot of the steps are the same. I just go over them again, again, again. And then certain things, I'll look at it like before um, um, hollowing out a model or something like that. I'll break it up first, then hollow out certain things because it's just a process I go through. And if you can break everything down and know any process like loft, split, the fillet, surface, patch, mirror, shell, thicken, etc., you can model anything, even a full airliner. And um, you've seen on my channel, um, I've you know modeled many airplanes, so you can do it too. And um, if you can't break it down, CAT forces you to learn how to break it down. And you will, as you go along. A lot of things may not make sense to you right away, but as you continue to work with them, everything should begin to clear up pretty quickly. It's just a process uh, going over it again and um, keep working with it to get it. Expectation number 10, CAT replaces physical testing. The reality, real life wins every single time with real life testing, with anything. It's gotta be tested in real life. CAT gives you the perfect vision, but real life tests your assumptions. Plastic warps, glue adds weight, sanding changes shapes, tolerances matter, airflow is unpredictable, EDF thrust behaves differently in reality. CAT is the blueprint, but flight tests are the truth. Okay, those are the 10 things that a lot of people expect um, from CAT. So if you're learning CAT, don't be discouraged. What feels hard today will be natural in a few months. And the best part is when you're designing, um, your design goes from Fusion 360 to your printer and to the sky. That's a good feeling. Now, if you enjoyed this breakdown of how CAD is to me, hit like and subscribe. And if you want part two, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching CAD Build Fly RC. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe for more.